And then it just goes out. Do, 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 that's it. Do, 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 no more. Do, do, do. Fair Aww. enough. That is, that's a fun song. I kind of vibed that now on a night out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Imagine they played that in coppers while you're getting the shift. Like you'd have to stop shifting. And oh yeah, I just do a little a little sway. <laughs> yeah. Hey Gary. Hello, Stephanie. Stephanie. Hey Gazzy. Uh, Sorry, Gaz. Everyone call him Gaz. I don't like that now. Don't cut that part out. <laughs> Okay, I do have the power to do that. I know. Ah. Gary's the producer and the editor. Yeah, you're just the voice. Yeah, you're just the reason. husky voice that people come to listen to. <laughs> yeah, no, sure, I do bits. I do some bits. Do you know what the last episode was? Episode number thirteen. Oh, and lucky for some. Not for us. Not for us. Yeah, we had one million downloads. Oh, oh my god, we're so successful. Yeah, success comes easy. Oh, thank God. This week. We're doing something a little bit different. We're actually doing something <laughs> a year too late. Oh, why? Because uh, when I'll get into my research, research, most of it is from 2021. So today we're talking about pretty much a lockdown activity that was practiced by many. Oh, yeah. Now I get you why we're doing it a year too late. Okay. Yeah, okay. Why are you always so slow to the to the realization? I don't know. I was just sitting here rubbing my eyes thinking about other things. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we said we're doing the podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, go on. Anyway. Mm, so mm, today we're Sorry. talking about sunrise swims. 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 Swam. I found it hard to find a lot swims. of things on this. Yeah, so did I. But I kind of just looked into sea swimming. Oh, okay. Not, right. not that I just looked into that. No, but like a lot of stuff. The benefits of sun racings are the same benefits as just just (laughs) sea swimming. swimming. (laughs) Like, there isn't, like, a huge difference. Mm. There's a bit of a difference. I'm sure if you ask the happy pair, they'd be, like, completely different. That's it. We should actually get on to them. Oh, why didn't we ring them? I don't know. We're going to be practicing sun... Practicing. We're going to be doing... (laughs) <laughs> we're practicing we're swimming this week. Practicing how to swim at sunrise. Oh, yeah, we're going to be doing sunrise swims. This yeah, week. So here we, we, in Bali. Here in Bali. Yeah. Bali so we've done a lot of. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe you're still making that shit. <laughs> so we've. Um, this is more of a habit than a hobby. Well, I suppose actually it's hobby. No, it's, it's a, a hobby, hobby for some people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not something that we did during lockdown. No, we kind of missed out on that, mm. didn't we? Because we just. Didn't like live near the sea. Tipperary is a landlocked county, is it? I think so. I'm, yeah. from, I'm not from Tipperary. So oh, I'm, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Is Carlo landlocked? Uh, yeah. 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 See, we'd no, we'd no chance, really. No, we had no chance. No. And the fact that we were in, <laughs> we were in Amsterdam. At the time, so. <laughs> yeah, we were in. Amsterdam so it doesn't really matter about Tipperary, and Carlo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we, yeah did so we're, we did a bit of both. I Let's think most people that lead people. live Sorry, near the sea, fucking, <laughs> most people that live near the sea, uh, they, they actually did it. Yeah, well yeah. done, you smug pricks. Yes. Yeah, well done. If you're listening to that, fair play. Fair fuck me. We're I hope you're you. happy now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do, uh, we're going to talk about our usual, why yeah. would you bother doing this? Yeah. A little bit of research. I've got the game today. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, I I'm love that. I love when I get to play the game. To tell, yeah, I'm looking forward to yeah. playing this game as well. Oh, I was just thinking there, like, we've never done sunrise swimming before, but we have done sea swimming. Yeah. Or as some people just call it, just swimming. Or some people call it just going to the beach. Just going to the beach. But whenever we were on our holidays in Clare last summer. You said holidays. I you know. You say holidays. I know. I thought it through there too mm. much. I'm changing who I am now that we have a successful podcast. <laughs> now that we've got a million I'm just, downloads. I'm just changing as a person. Yeah. Yeah. We went swimming in, we went to like a meetup, Snow of Sosta. Yeah, in Spanish right. Point in Clare yeah. and it's like this woman June who organised it every Sunday mm. and there was about 200 people there yeah that was really good yeah and then they had a little hoolie yeah which I didn't <laughs> really know what a hoolie was I can't remember if the hoolie was before or after but there was a DJ yeah well there was a fellow with a speaker in the in his boot yeah it felt like <laughs> it felt like we were in the wrong era which is like, I know but it was some crack it wasn't was great it? crack yeah, yeah, yeah. it yeah. was really really good so we'll share a bit of schnoz sauce there on our oh, old Instagram oh. perch but everybody had like the really because uh, uh, I feel like with the lockdown sea swimming came dry robes did you ever hear of them <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, the brand. Like. Okay. <laughs> I told See, you I about the thing. It's like, it's like um, oven gloves. Have you ever heard of oven gloves? 
<laughs> yeah, it turns out, it turns out I have. Yeah. Yeah, no, dry robe is like a brand of a thing you put on when you get out of the sea. Okay. So it's kind of half jacket, half robe, half towel. All right. Or third, third, third of each of them, 33.3%. Right. And you were kind of just not cool unless you were wearing a dry robe if you went sea swimming, based on what I saw on Instagram. Really? Yeah, but remember we went to the sea swimming and we um, took the robes from the hotel, which yeah. you're definitely not supposed to do. <laughs> no, and not. everybody else was in these like different colours and variations of dry robes. Yeah. I'm so jealous of them. But why get a dry robe when you can just get a general robe? Yeah, that is so true. Well, a dry robe, I suppose, is like 100 euros. So is it? Fuck? Must be better. Jesus. They look cool. I'd get one. And for this episode, we'll be raffling off a dry <laughs> robe. <laughs> yeah. Funny, sometimes the people who organise the raffle End up winning winning the the raffle. raffle. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we don't we don't need one here though, swimming in Bali. No. Now like the water isn't warm, but it's not freezing. Well it's not Ireland. It's not Ireland, it's somewhere in the middle. So I wonder are we missing out some of the benefits of sea swimming? I think we definitely are. And I think I think this is a bit of a cop out as well. Like it's not like it's not freezing. You know, people doing a home yeah. during lockdown and stuff. And like I, I found, which I'm going to do my research, <laughs> I found uh, some women who do it in colder water than Ireland. Mm, so Jesus, right. Jesus, I know. Are you looking forward to this? Um. Oh, um means kind mm, of not. Yeah, I am. But like, I just kind of presume we'll die for some reason. <laughs> Jesus, do you know, right, like right. the anxiety is just taking over my brain that I'm just like getting into the sea in the morning and now there could be atten in there there could be rocks we don't know the right place to swim like what if one of us gets into trouble there's a very strong current down there so you never know right okay that's where i'm at what if we contract a deadly disease like jesus like cholera or typhoid, or typhoid. Yeah. <laughs> what if a dog pisses on our bag while our bag is on the beach and then we get rabies don't know can you get pissed through rabies i thought can you get to, pissed through rabies? i thought they had to bite you I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I think they need to bite you. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I think I'll feel better once we do day one because I know we'll have survived. Yeah, okay. You know, that kind of way. But yeah, now yeah. I'm a bit like, Jesus, is it, is this safe? Are we kind of taking our lives in our hands? Well, if we are and we do die, then no one's going to hear this. So that's true. Say whatever you want. Yeah. It doesn't oh, matter. That's kind of sad to think yeah. that. Are you looking forward to it anyway? I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, I wish I was I had your brain. <laughs> okay. So you're really looking forward I'm to really it? I'm really looking forward to it because it's a nice mix of like sunrise is always nice anyway. But yeah. it's also, I just fucking love being up early. And this is an excuse for it. Sorry. And yeah, it's not it as early to that. as 5 a.m. Like 5 a.m. is getting up sitting in the dark for an hour hour and a half pretty much whereas this time we're going for the best part of the morning which yeah. is the sunrise oh my god you look so excited so right i'm now. really looking forward to that yeah i think it's gonna be class and like by the time we're finished swimming so the sun comes up at half six here and by the time we're finished swimming it's only what seven o'clock or something so you still have the whole yeah. day ahead of you and you've done a little bit of exercise you're probably going to be feeling good again is it a cop-out because like in ireland at the moment the sun probably rises at about half four <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Doesn't it though? So it'd be half four and a lot colder. Yeah, like. But like, this is called the sunrise swim an hour. challenge. Like, you know, it's just called the. It's just sunrise the sunrise swim. swim. Yeah, yeah so. I suppose we don't need to be creating hardship for ourselves. No, no, we do not. No. Do you want um, to start with uh, what? Why? Why should we bother doing this? What did you find? Oh, there's a lot. Did you, there's did a you lot find of reasons. I found it hard to. But again. To find something about. Just kind of generally about swimming in the sea. Yeah, okay. But that's okay. Like, it's... That's okay. It doesn't make any difference. Yeah, yeah. But whenever I googled it at first, like, is it good for you? I kind of got this, like, load of shite, really. Okay. From stmichaelsresort.com. Didn't click in to see what that was. (laughs) St. Michael's Resort. I have no idea what it was, and I didn't check. But they say, elements in the seawater activate the body's healing mechanisms and support healing for diseases, aches, pains. Sounds good. All right. Also rich in magnesium, help it helps to reduce stress, release your muscles, whatever, deep sleep, and spiritually cleanse your aura. Oh, that's why we're doing this. Yeah, our auras are in some state. You have like, a filthy aura. I know it's stink. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> some state. It's rotten. Yeah, I need to cleanse my aura, so yeah. this is coming at a really good time. Thank God. But no, on a serious note, mm. some of the things. So, number one, seawater is really high in are really rich in minerals that can help your skin. Miner- minerals? Minerals. Yeah. Do you want minerals? Do you want minerals? <laughs> uh, so it is really good for people with skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis. 
<laughs> Both two funny words. Because some people say eczema. And some people say... Psoriasis. 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 Is it with a P? It starts with a P, but the P is silent. Or is it? Okay, I think it's personal preference. <laughs> Psoriasis would be me. Anyway, boost your boosts your immune system. So this one is the one I was most interested in, and mm. I am putting this to the test because I've been consistently sick. Oh yeah. And I'm wondering if we do sea swimming for a week, are we just going to be like? pure healthy miraculously cured miraculously. yeah but i saw it said it boosts your immune system because it puts you in contact with more germs than you usually be exposed to and i was like ew no, does it that's rotten i, can't talk, I don't know if that's true either. i thought there'd be less germs in salty water like. i know yeah i don't know if that's true or not mm. the water here is pure brown like yeah, it's so gonna <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> we're gonna get diseases yeah um, next thing is it's really good for your mental health and well-being yeah heard that, that one pops up a lot mm-hmm. um, it is known to reduce levels of anxiety and depression we'll put that to the test again <laughs> because it releases endorphins mm. so like just like swimming basically. just like yeah just like exercising like you get the endorphins but p- research has shown those that consistently swim have made less frequent less frequent visits to a mental health professional and I just don't know how they track that <laughs> yeah, there's no <laughs> way they're tracking that properly that just seems like someone said no oh, that sounds good let yeah, me put that in we'll put that in yeah, yeah. Um, also very high in magnesium seawater is Okay. So it relaxes your muscles and it promotes deep sleep. Okay. Quickly run through the last two. Respiratory <laughs> issues. <laughs> the way you said that as if like we're in a massive rush here. <laughs> well, it's because I know you're going to interrupt me at any second because uh. I interrupt you. So, but yeah, it's very good for respiratory issues. So really good for like sinus infections and bronchitis mm-hmm. and stuff. And last one, which we're not getting the benefit of, which is cold water therapy. Yeah. So I don't need to go into the description of that because no point, yeah. another episode. Yeah, But yeah. those are the main kind of benefits. So are those things you would like to benefit from? <laughs> that all sounds <laughs> shit. There's nothing better than a weak immune system because you're in bed more and yeah. it work less. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that all sounds really good. And I found a lot of similar things. So I'll try not to, to kind of double up on what you said, Bob. No, I feel like that'd be an interesting episode. You say what I said. Go on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so uh so i found a couple of different articles okay and just realizing now i found four articles that i'm referencing <laughs> right three of them mention sunrise swimming oh yeah so specific not just sea swimming sunrise swimming oh so it started with a medium article emma richards and I, I found they were all from 2021. So this was a real fucking thing in 2021. Yeah, real lockdown vibes. Yeah, it's kind of lockdown, but you're kind of allowed out of your house, but oh. also not. Before I found any of them, there was a lot of articles on, should I swim in the ocean when there's lightning? What? I never heard that or never heard that either. That. Yeah. So I was typing in benefits of sunrise swimming. And then I kept getting these articles on, should I swim in the ocean if there's lightning? And I was like, well, no, don't be so fucking dumb. Obviously not. Like, <laughs> well, should, I, should, I, should I make? Some toast while I'm sitting in the bath. No, you shouldn't do that at all. Like, so anyway, well, maybe you should if you're if you're even thinking if, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah if you really have on. a in survival a rush of the fitness at this stage, go on. So then I actually got on to Emma Richards, and she had a Medium article, and it's called a "Call to the Wild: Sunset and Sunrise Swimming." So I think she's based in the UK, but she was kind of just given her experience, and she was just sort of saying like, "There is a thrill in your veins." <laughs> which leaves you with tingling skin and a newfound optimism and a clear mind. Sounds awful. Yeah. Thrill in oh. your veins. Yeah, I think that nah. I think she's talking about like shooting up heroin or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she didn't mention she's also high as fuck. She's also high as fuck. While swimming. Yeah. But she was just saying it's class. You're smiling from the inside out. What she mentioned, you kind of come to the mental health thing, is like you're switching off that part of your brain that's always thinking, right, what next? What are we doing mm. next? And you, you have to kind of replace it with, like you, you can't help but be focused on the moment. You know, yeah. In the scene. yeah. So that actually sounds really good. She had some safety tips as well. Oh, yeah. Don't nice. go alone. Um, wear an orange tow float for boats on early morning rowers. So I think she's in the UK. Wear yeah. a wetsuit if you're nervous about the cold. We won't need that. No, Pack your bag the night before. I think that's just a general rule of getting up early. That's just for any activity really, isn't it? Yeah. Always be prepared. And uh, yeah, she, she had, this was the most important one. Protect your extremities. <gasps> wear boots, gloves and a hat <laughs> to prevent ice cream head. <laughs> 
head. I don't know, but I thought she is. <laughs> is that is like ice brain for, freeze? I don't know. Ice cream, ice, head. Ice cream head sounds like, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something a 10 year old would say to another. Yeah. Shut up, ice cream head. <laughs> <laughs> then I found another Australian article. ABC News. Mm. Sunrise swims help young oddballs make friends away from social <laughs> oh media. <my> God. <laughs> right. Why oddballs? Yeah, that I, just seems cruel. I, I kind of thought it was like news reporters turning up being like, this mm. fucking bunch of oddballs. <laughs> but they, they actually yeah, call yeah. themselves oddballs. So uh, it was an okay. interview with these guys, this group called Cold Nips, right? <laughs> Great name. And they started off, two lads were like, let's go swimming or whatever. Right. Then they created an Instagram page cold nips and they put it out there being like who wants to come so it's in person Australia yeah 16 people turned up and then within the next few weeks like 150 to 200 so very like the oh snow God. salsa kind yeah. of thing um, which means what happy swimming I think Irish. so yeah. Yeah. yeah now they want to bring it to Melbourne it turned into a non-for- non-for-profit and they have loads of people there so they're just talking about it being like and I really like this a replacement for uh, like socializing that doesn't involve alcohol oh, which I know like, yeah. I know I keep bringing that up it makes me sound like an alcoholic but no it's that's not it's, it's just that's Irish, where we're trying yeah. to look for hobbies it's like what else are we going to do yeah. but, I love um, that yeah but I suppose if you're that turning up really to a good. sunrise swim with like a bottle of vodka or something <laughs> you probably are an alcoholic <laughs> you have an issue. then you know you've got a problem if you're just rolling over from the night before yeah like, exactly well, it'd be kind of fun it might be okay ah. so we'll share that article as well then I found a YouTube video called Dublin Diaries, Sunrise Swim, Studying, and that's basically it. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So from a YouTuber called Moya Mahwini. Is it Mahani, no? No, it's definitely not <laughs> Mahani. It's M-A-W-H-I-N-N-E-Y. And okay. that's also her Instagram name if you want to look her up. Right. So they, uh, like a lot of her videos about studying, so I think she's in college or something. And they went sunrise swimming in dublin that actually looked really nice yeah so it was like one of those like cold mornings <gasps> lovely pink sky it didn't look like ireland you know it looked like a exotic kind of place oh, but it was like four you... degrees oh in yeah. the water or out of the water or both uh, she said it was four degrees when she was walking to get picked up to go to the beach oh, so Jesus. i'd say the water was probably colder but, Don't know how that um, works. but she was fucking over the moon after the swim so yeah that was that was another thing that was like class can't wait to feel like that then, last article that I found, Why I Swim at Sunrise with Grace Kingswell. Oh. Yeah. That was on wildswimmingcornwall.co.uk, which is as niche <laughs> as it gets. Yeah, yeah. it uh, all sounds so posh like. Yeah, it? <laughs> it does. So she's a, a nutritional therapist and cold water swimmer. Oh. But she actually went into kind of like the science of it uh, a little bit. So she started a swim community as well called Nudge. And they basically the idea around everyone needs a little nudge to get going in the morning. Oh, I um, love that. And get into icy water at sunrise. So she was talking about mitochondria. So mitochondria being like the powerhouse of, of your cells. cells. Yeah. So they kind of give us energy, basically. Right. But she said like, you know, glucose is one fuel source. But what a lot of people don't put that much. Well, what a lot of people kind of forget to mention is that it also responds really well to light mitochondria oh okay as a source of energy right so she was saying that the the spectrum of light is into different kind of wavelengths and yeah. all that sort of stuff and red light in particular which is what you get during sunrise and sunset it has like shorter wavelengths so it penetrates much deeper into the skin what and the therefore fuck? gets to the mitochondria quicker holy shit yeah and the mitochondria then help to uh, increase energy decrease inflammation boost your collagen synthesis so that's like your for your like skin and faster muscle recovery and reduce joint pain so there's loads of like benefits oh actual benefits to this, yeah. and then she said combine that with cold water which we're not going to do and the psychological effect of seeing the sunset so it's just like it's a fucking winner of that, to do. yeah that sounds incredible i was like that's class that is very cool yeah. now i understand why you do a lot of research <laughs> Well, I kind of do a lot because you don't that. do that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, worry. that too. Yeah. I understand. That's Twofold. pretty much why. I. So, um, yeah, that was that was kind of the last interesting one. I dabbled in another article, which oh. was about three Chicago women that are swimming through the winter in icy Lake, Lake Michigan. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so this is the, the Chicago Tribune. So basically, three women turn up to what just looks like the Antarctic. And they bring oh. a sledgehammer and everything and they chip away at the ice and then they go swimming in the water while wearing a swimsuit, a hat, Fuck. gloves and boots. Ah. Oh. Yeah. One of the women, Deirdre. 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 Had never swum through the winter 
either. Swam. Swam. Well, that's, <laughs> I look, you're taking that up with the Swam. Chicago. Chicago Tribune, like a fucking newspaper put that, swum, so yeah. Swum. We're going swumming. <laughs> <laughs> so they'd never swum through the winter either. Right. Um, but this woman, Deirdre, particularly felt a need because her husband died oh. in COVID. Oh. One month into lockdown. Seems to be something that people turn to in in difficult times because mm. like your one June that does the snow of Sosta, she lost her husband Oh yeah. to suicide. So Do you know what I noticed as well? Not to kind of <laughs> interrupt, but a lot of the time you put a T where there's supposed to be a D. What do you, you mean? You said husband. <laughs> no, I didn't. You, said, you did. You literally said, we're, we're going to hear this in the recording. You said husband. <laughs> husband. Yeah, but I don't know. Do you say cousin? I don't say cousin. There's no D in cousin. That's true. But some people say cousin. <laughs> I know what they do. Yeah. I know one of them. <laughs> I know one of them. I know one of them. I was talking about a very serious topic. I like, know. Yeah. Sorry. But uh, yeah, it seems to be a thing that people turn to in like really desperate times. Mm. So it obviously has like a profound effect. Yeah. You know, but obviously we don't, we don't have that. And I think a thing that we're going to miss as well is the community feeling. Anyway. Do you want to know what the happy pair had to say about it? Oh, I actually didn't even think of looking at what they have to say about it. Well, I just have, whenever I googled Sunrise Swimming, a thing about them came up. Yeah, okay. So for context, we've mentioned the happy pair a lot of times. For, yeah, for people so not they're, from Ireland. they're twins yeah. from Ireland yeah. that yeah. like to swim together. And they run like a health food store, what do you call <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, I was thinking the best. They're not just twins that like to swim together. <laughs> <laughs> they have like a restaurant and a whole brand and everything of like vegan food. Yeah, yeah. They're kind and of like, kind of like celebrities in a way aren't they, at home, aren't they? Yeah, they kind of are celebs at home. But they, they started, um, they started sea swimming like a few years ago and they swim in the sea every day at sunrise all year round. Oh. So sometimes that's at like half or sometimes well no maybe half hour is dramatic but like five o'clock maybe and then during the winter it's at like eight or half eight or something so they do it all year round no matter what the weather but they do say that one of the main things that helps them do it is the community oh so oh yeah people go yeah people join them yeah my two sisters went went, and and join them and like i've seen people on instagram a few times like going to the happy bear i think it's in greystones which is on the east coast of ireland yeah and joining them and then going for breakfast. I think they give you free porridge oh. or something if you go along. Oh. I know. It's so you had me at porridge. I know. But what they said anyway is, first off, there's an element of embracing discomfort as soon as you wake up. Yeah. So that is a benefit. That is good, yeah. It does not seem natural to get out of a warm bed, head to the cold beach and strip down into your swim gear and embrace the cold sea. But they said... Yeah, so you're embracing discomfort, which is giving you mental discipline and commitment, mm. which is then making you feel better for the whole day. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I love the sound of all of that. Mm. Besides having to actually get up and get into the sea. Yeah, yeah. You know, it does sound good in theory. They also said in an age where many of us are starved of nature, it's like getting a massive dose of nature first thing straight in the morning mm. so all your senses are alive you get into the sea feeling tired and a little sorry for yourself and then 10 seconds later all of your senses come to life they say it like that's their accent <laughs> yeah <laughs> um all of that just makes me like jesus is the best thing we'll ever do that's um the best thing since wholemeal bread made in the happy pair <laughs> that's um <laughs> that's what the cold nips guys were saying as well cold that they were saying it's, kind of, it's uh you know people are getting closer to nature there's no technology it's community blah, yeah, blah, blah. so like that's uh, true it seems to be the case with a lot of these swimming groups that's more like you know let's just get together and enjoy nature and know, early yeah. in the morning and stuff so i think we'll miss the community a little bit mm. like i think or we it, could just text people that we've met here and be like who wants to come yeah but who would do that <laughs> who in their right mind would do that <laughs> no, like who would come I don't know I don't know sure, you never know like, I hope like. we'll just walk down there'd be like a group of people there and we'd be like oh my god are you in Sunrise Swimming and they'd be like yeah we're the young oddballs <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that you've heard about that's us <laughs> you may have heard about us on ABC <laughs> News do you want to play a game I would love to play a game okay you need a little bit of a game so um, like mind games yeah do you want that's to play mind games love. yeah so he's playing around with names for the games oh yeah that's good one. that's one of them <laughs> <laughs> so the first one I thought of 
things that went exquisitely or not so swimmingly. <laughs> <laughs> stupid also one. kind of a a good bad kind of thing okay. then i got into a run of okay right these could actually be a game right? okay sunrise go. harmonize a game where i hum things and you need to harmonize <laughs> it at the same time and guess the song <laughs> Fuck so sake. we're actually gonna put that in the back pocket we're not gonna do okay. that okay then i thought rise and synchronize so i need to say popular word lyrics and the fifth word you need to guess what that's going to be and say it at the exact same time as me <laughs> oh. in synchronization okay I li- uh, that sounds just like a fun game we should play outside of the podcast i know i really like the sound of that and then it came to me oh my god i'm giddy what is it rise and scrutinize <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> right rise and criticize right <laughs> So, either way yeah right is like criticize yeah because scrutinize is kind of more so, so like i was actually <laughs> looking up the definition of scrutinize i was like no oh, maybe it's not that it's a rise and criticize rise want... and criticize mm. i fucking feel like we should change the name of the podcast yeah. <laughs> yeah. rise and criticize motherfuckers yeah, i love that so the rules of the game <gasps> right go i'm on. gonna say right so it's, it's a rapid fire thing right okay i'm gonna say a word or a phrase or whatever. Yeah. And you need to criticize it within 10 seconds. Ah. All right. And then I criticize you and your character. If you want. I'm okay. not in there. But if you start doing that, you don't get a point. Oh, right. No. So Now, it is a subjective thing. I'm going to grant the point or not, depending on how <laughs> how well your that criticism goes. That doesn't seem fair. I need a, uh, I need but a like board of judges. There's no, uh, there's no, there's no punishment running. Get a few other people in here. Okay, Come call on. them in. Get my mom on the phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll start off. Actually, I need to get... I need to get my phone to get the timer up. Okay. Okay. Right, you have your phone and you're out of breath for walking five steps across the room <laughs> to pick up your phone. Yeah. It's not easy. <laughs> this doesn't bode well for like how you're going to survive in the sea. This walk and crack like it's not as easy. It's not as easy as they say. So I've got the timer up. Okay. Right. So we're going to do a practice one first. Do you have an independent adjudicator to look at the time? Uh, well, I'll, I'll just show you. Okay, okay, I'll be the independent. Which, which <laughs> might be might be a bit distracting, but look, if there's one thing I know about this game, right, and right. I know this game, <laughs> right, is that you need to just don't think, just talk. Okay, right? then don't show me the time. Okay, yeah, yeah, I yeah, think that'd be distracting. Yeah, because then I'll be too okay, distracted. So don't think, just talk. Just talk. So we'll we'll, we'll do we'll do a practice round, and okay. you just need to criticize. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous! No, no, oh no. my god. Okay, are you ready? I'm afraid of what I'm going to say? Yeah. Okay. As soon as I say the word, we go, right? We go. Well, you go. Okay. okay. It's like, we both are criticizing. That's, <laughs> That's going to be hard to listen to. Shout out to Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I'm really nervous. You can do it. I just got butterflies in my stomach. Jeez, I think that could be the typhoid. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. It's you ready? Back. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm ready. I'm ready to rise okay. and criticize, baby. Ready, set, screaming children. Oh, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Except ones that I know and love, but other than that, no, absolutely zero time for that. Okay, perfect, <laughs> really nice. Okay, that was a, that was a good start. We'll give you a point for that one. Okay, nice. Now I'm thinking maybe it's ten seconds too long. Or would you, do you want to just do five seconds? Yeah, because okay. ten seconds like do I have to fill the ten seconds? Well, you then? don't have to. I mean, you yeah. can just sit there in silence if you okay. want. Okay, I could do a running timer and then. Uh, no, complicating it. Don't finish okay. that sentence. Okay, okay. I don't. I don't right. want to hear. It. I'm Ready? in the. Next. I'm in the zone. Next one, clickbait. Oh, I did it before when I worked in a uh, website and uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> That is not a criticism at all. You just tell oh. us that, you tell everyone a shit story they don't care about. Like <laughs> ah, no. uh, I did it I did it for Anna. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I should have said something like my thoughts on clickbait will shock you. Yeah, but I think it, <laughs> it will yeah, make you ship bricks. That would have been really good. No, it's still not a criticism. Still I don't criticism. understand the game. But the first one, you were just like screaming children, they're shit. You yeah, know? okay. But we we want to give we'll give bonus points that relate <laughs> back to the point that you mentioned, okay. not just like you know ranting bullshit, right? <laughs> no. Right. Okay. okay Next okay. one. Right, so you've got one point. Right. Okay. Okay. Ready? What happened? What happens if I get all the points? <laughs> uh, well you've already missed out on one so like oh, don't worry about that okay right, next one yeah construction work before 7 a.m go oh it should be illegal and they don't care about sleeping babies <laughs> <laughs> very good that was a very valid criticism that is one point granted to you okay i'm sweating no i know but that's because we don't have the air con on. yeah that's what it is I suppose. okay Next one. Ready? Yeah. 
People who are always late. Go. Oh, you're one of them. So I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You hate me. <laughs> kind of a criticism. We'll no, give it to you. No. For... I don't know how to criticize him. Too nice. I, I don't know about that. Right. Ready? No. Yeah. Okay. Go. Next one. Men. Go. Men are the worst. Women should be running the countries. Women are better than men. Okay. Men don't have boobs. Well, some do, but I'm the most <laughs> you're, you're out of type. Don't know, finish that sorry. sentence. I'm getting political. Yeah, you are. Yeah, but when you brought boobs into it, I know. we knew Fine Gael was going to be next. I know. Okay, right. that was still kind of okay. No, that was... that was. So do you not want to give yourself no points for you then? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got... I don't think I deserve the points. You've got... You've got t- Look at a man taking something from a woman again. Yeah. Nice. That nice. would have been perfect. Ah. Oh. But it's a pity you're out of time. Oh, uh, see, I can't. I don't do well under pressure. You know that about me. I know. Me. That's why I thought this would be the great game. Oh, right. okay. Next one. Cute old people. Go. Oh, how can I criticize them? I can't. You're, I can't criticize you're them. You're going to lose they a point. They smell sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> nice. That was a, that was a little, little I knew you. I knew you couldn't criticize that. <laughs> Uh, I was, what that was going to be was so people who eat on their own. I oh, jeez. Well. Then I would have just got up and left and yeah. started balling. <laughs> yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Vegans, go. Oh, I kind of respect their life choices, but we don't need to hear that you're vegan every five seconds. Shut the fuck up. Okay, nice. No need for shut the fuck up. That was actually a second over. Oh, but shit. We don't need to hear life choices. We'll count that. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah. S- small talk, go. Oh, I actually really like small talk and I prefer to talk about it. <laughs> Not a criticism <laughs> oh, at all. Shit. <laughs> just give it an opinion. Yeah, you keep giving a shit opinion that no one cares about. Actually, we <laughs> like them. Uh... <laughs> That's oh. right. All right, ready? Next one. Remember, you need to criticize. 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 Yeah, it's not just discuss the topic. Yeah, no, it's not discuss the topic. Okay. 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 Ready? Next one. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. Okay, go. Taxes, go. Fuck them. Fuck. Give me more. Eat the rich. Eat the rich. (laughs) Eat the rich. That thing that people say. Eat the rich. Yeah. What the fuck do you mean? Eat the rich. I know. People say that. I I see that sometimes on Instagram. Definitely not counting that. Right. So so far you've got screaming children. Okay. Construction work. Yeah. Um. Don't know. Did you get people who are late? I don't think so. No. I said I hate you. You said you hate me. (laughs) Small talk. You said you really like Uh, vegans. You you, oh vegans actually we gave you vegans. Yeah, but I also respect their life choices. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready. No, I'm getting worse at this by the second. I know, you haven't really got many at all. Oh, God. All right. I think this is a game for someone who's funny on the spot, and I'm not, like... No, you just need to criticise. Just think of what, like, the first thing that comes to your mind about them. Yeah, but I'm... That you don't don't like. Okay, okay. Okay. I'll calm down now. Hang on. Right, go on. (laughs) You're going to need it for this next one. Oh, shit. All right, deep breath. Think about what you don't like and criticise this person. Okay, okay. Okay. Your best friend's granny. Go. <laughs> Go. What do you hate about it? What do you hate about it? You're the worst. You're the worst. You're out of time. You're out of time. You okay. absolute child. Right. <laughs> you had nothing to say there. Oh then. my right. God. Okay, next one. Right. Ready? Yeah. Internet trolls. Go. Internet trolls are the lowest of the scum on the planet. Most of them are men. No offense. Done. That's good. Perfect. Okay, now we're <laughs> back in the groove and we're nearly finished the game. Yeah, okay. okay. Right, you ready? Right, yeah. So you've got that one. Right, perfect. <laughs> best got friend's that granny. One. Let's best, get that. Best friend's granny just going to put uh, an X beside that oh, one. Oh, well, get I'm that. not going to start bitching about Jake's little nanny Jean. Jake's, oh, yeah. I forgot her name was Jean. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. Pee in the seat. Go. Pee in the what? Oh, let's start that again. Pee on the seat. Oh, oh my God. Like, literally. Sorry. We're going again. It's it's clock running. <laughs> pee on the seat Go. is actually fucking horrendous because then I sit down and then my legs are covered in pee from someone that I don't know and then I think maybe there's Perfect. steam in there and I'll get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that old chestnut. All right, you ready? Next one. Yeah. People that skip the queue. Go. Oh, that happens to me constantly and I am just giving an opinion again and I hate them and they don't care about other people. Okay, you yeah. kind of say it at the end they don't care about other yeah. people. All right. Really slow internet. Go. Doesn't bother me. It's it's slow. It's shit. But it doesn't bother me like you. Oh my god. <gasps> Sorry. No. It's too late. You're the, out of time. The criticism would be how really slow internet makes you act. Really slow internet makes you act like 
a fucking I was gonna say serial killer, but that's <laughs> <too much. laughs> like a two year old having a tantrum. I hate it. I know. That's I, why I wrote it down. I was like, sure, everyone can criticize this. Uh, I don't care as much. Like, yeah. Do you know what else drives me mad? Really what? slow girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Who just can't get this quick enough? <laughs> What's the last one? Yeah, but should you not give me the topic and then give me two minutes to prepare? <laughs> <laughs> To prepare five bullet points. We're not doing it. It's not a debate. Like, you know, know, it's just like, right, quick criticism. Right. right. Last one. Beyonce, go. Oh, she doesn't release music enough. Okay. She's nice. too, she doesn't do interviews. Nice. That was your best yet. Yeah. It took you 15 of them to, to yeah, start Yeah, but see, that's, good. that's also boring though, isn't it? I just kind of thought you'd be like, <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't do that. Like Hang cute old people. Name, 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 name. Actually, did you get cute old people? Because you said they smell. I said they smell. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Don't tell any cute old people that I said that. <laughs> well, <laughs> turns out for you, I can see the stats that <laughs> only cute old people listen, listen to this. To this. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for playing Rise and Criticize. Oh my God. I feel like I just ran a marathon. Yeah, I am sweating buckets. Now. Sweating after Boom. that now. That was stressful, but that was fun. Nice one, Gazzy. Well done. Thanks very much. Put her there. Put her there. Well done. We shake well hands done. too too much. And whenever I edit that, no one can hear it. So oh, we could yeah. just say, let's shake hands and not do let's it. Let's shake. We're, we're shaking hands vigorously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get your grubby paws off me, like. Oh, stop. Are you ready to go jump in the sea? Let's go jump in the sea. Well, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning in the dark. In the dark, yeah. Ah, can't wait. I can't wait. I hope it goes swimmingly. Oh, <laughs> fuck off. Well, Ed. Well, Ed. How are you getting on? Grand. Grand, but you're wrecked. But I'm tired. Yeah. Wrecked, God it's love It's been yeah. a long week of early starts again. That's our second again. week in a row. And I'm more tired now than I ever was before. Why do you think that is? Like, this week we, we were really serious about getting up and being mm. there on time and doing all of that. Like, we really were strict with that, but we were not strict with going to bed on time. No. At all. Not really. And now it's the end of the week and we're fucking wrecked. <laughs> yeah. It was so, it was kind of stupid and I'm kind of raging at us. Yeah. But anyway. Outside of that though. We, did you... We'll get into that. Will we, expl- will we set the scene a little bit first? Okay, go. So... We're, obviously we said we we're doing it here in Bali and uh, so we were getting up at like 10 to 6 yeah, and baiting down on the moped to the beach and then every day we were a bit too early <laughs> every day it was too dark yeah <laughs> every single day we were too early we just didn't take a minute to plan a schedule or a routine no and I think there was no <laughs> such idiots. there was no morning that we were there when the, the sun came up like it was it was like it was like pre-sunrise when the sky is kind of yeah we were that. very early yeah but I early. think we would have had to wait a good while for the sun to come up onto that beach because there was a lot of buildings in the way mm. so we would have been waiting ages but we were getting there at about six Ten, no, about ten past six. Yeah, and I think it said sunrise is twenty five to seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, why didn't we just leave? But like, I don't know. But then I suppose you're getting that nice kind of pink sky. It's yeah. just getting bright. Like, so we're arriving onto the beach and it's pitch dark. Like, mm. but there's loads of people starting to get into the water, which was cool. Yeah. So when we were there, we we're usually the only people swimming at the spot we were at. Yeah. And then there was loads of people surfing. Those people getting in. Yeah, that was actually boards. nice. And you know what there was loads of? What? Dogs going for their morning shite. <laughs> <laughs> loads of that. So many. We were like, surrounded by shitting dogs. Yeah. Everywhere we looked. Packs of dogs. Huskies <laughs> and fucking everything else. It was ridiculous. Like all the street dogs. Yeah. And loads of everyone bringing their dog down to the beach to do their poos. Did you enjoy it? I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, like, the first morning we, we swam at a different spot. Yeah. And there was a lot of rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, and, like, not just, like, little little stones on the ground. There was, like, proper, like, rocks in the sand. Like, big, massive rocks. So, like, yeah. when you kind of get smacked around by the waves and you land on a rock, it's kind of shit. Yeah. But... And there's a lot of waves. Oh, the waves are mad. Yeah. The waves are so intense. Like, they 
there's no kind of just keeping yourself standing upright with those waves. No. Sure there's not. You're just no, kind of get really. knocked all over the place. Yeah. But the first day, I kind of just felt relief that I was like, right, we lived to tell the tale. <laughs> we survived the day. This is never going to be a dangerous activity. Like. Uh, you have no respect for the sea. What are you talking about? Like? <laughs> you need to respect the ocean. Right. You do. Don't roll your eyes at me, Gary. Right. Come on, you need to learn how to tread water better than you oh, can. No, don't give me this shit <laughs> it again. Always like, comes back to always tread comes water. Back to this shit. Um, so yeah, but then as the as the days go on, went on, I felt a bit more comfortable. I did enjoy it more. Okay. Um, I was the other way around. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Right. Tell on. Anyway, tell me how you. What was your experience of sea swimming? Obviously, we haven't fucking spoken about it, which has been hard. Yeah, I loved the first morning. I was buzzing the first morning. Were you? Know, so I was like, oh, class, early morning, jumping in the sea, felt energized, felt like class, this is going to be a great week. And then just <laughs> as the the mornings went on, we went down with a friend one morning. That was actually really yeah, nice. Cause we went to got tea after it. That was, yeah. that was class. And then yeah. it, we were getting home at before eight o'clock and we had already done some things. Yeah. Love that. I went down this morning and I just couldn't give a fuck about it. Yeah. It's just, I, I think it's, I think if we had went to bed at a reasonable time, and got a full eight hours. Different story, probably. Yeah, like we were really stupid about the whole mm. thing. So we were going down tired. We'd go for a swim, which would tire us out, and we'd get back <laughs> wrecked, and then we'd go to the gym. Yeah. And then we'd be just exhausted after and that. And then like. we'd have to get into bed. Yeah. And it's like, why? Then, like, I think it was the hardest one to keep up out of all the things we did. Do you think so? Yeah. For me, it was the hardest one to keep up. I was just like, oh my God, again. And I think it was probably more the getting up early than anything else. Because mm. at least when we were doing 5 a.m., we were going to bed early. Yeah, Every we night we stayed that. in the routine and we mm. were strict about it. Whereas this, like we went out one night, like we were hungover doing it. Like, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I didn't know what point I was trying to make there. Yeah, so I yeah. just said, do you know, and just hoped you'd be like, yeah, yeah, getcha, yeah. I yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> The whole, um, we were talking about the science of sunrise swims before, and it was like the red light and all of that yeah. sort of stuff. Like, that's, I didn't really, maybe, maybe over a long term, but I didn't bullshit. get, yeah, I didn't get any of that. Maybe no. it's really hard to measure how strong your immune system is. That's for, for one. But also I, I thought maybe I'd have more energy from doing it. Mm. But there's initial, there's that initial buzz when you get into the water. And you're like, class, okay, lovely. Yeah. Refreshed, awake. And then when you go home after it, you're just tired again. It's very short lived, isn't yeah, it? it? And is. I wonder, is that because it's not cold water? Mm. Like, it was cold enough now. It was cold enough, yeah. It was colder than you'd kind of think, like. But yeah, like all of those things, like the red light, the water, first thing in the morning, all those things that were supposed to happen. The exact opposite happened. We were wrecked. We, we were, were cranky yeah. because we were so wrecked. And we were a bit sick. And um, yeah, a bit sick, but sure. That that's the just same never I think it's hay fever going. or something. I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I haven't seen any hay. Actually, <laughs> I've seen <laughs> plenty hay. of hay. Have you? Yeah. You really changed your tune there very quick. Just reminded me of, um, oh, I'll get you back for the hanky. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just a private joke that nobody's going to get. No, because I was just trying to think of what the other night we were out for dinner and I was just trying to think of what sentence could I say to someone that would make absolutely no sense if you weren't from Ireland. Yeah, because you were blowing your nose with the... <laughs> uh... <laughs> like they didn't give you a serviette, like a tissue. They gave you a proper cloth handkerchief. Yeah. And, but I had to blow my nose. Yeah. So I was trying to say like, I'll pay you back for the handkerchief. Yeah. But I was like, if I just said to them, like, oh, I'll get you back for the hanky, would they know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you back for the hanky. Yeah, no, they definitely wouldn't know what you mean. No, and it just made me think, like, what could I say that is still English, yeah. but means nothing Doesn't to someone mean, yeah. who can even speak fluent English. Anyway, yeah. sidetrack. Anyway. But uh, yeah, the whole thing didn't have any of the positive impact <laughs> that I thought it would. Well, I, like, I definitely enjoyed it and like yeah the best day was the day we went for tea after yeah exactly and i was just gonna say that that it's like when we were talking about our swimming groups yeah and i think they're probably the best Mm. i think like going with a group of people would actually be really good if someone was to ask us or ask you oh i want to go sunrise swimming what would be your advice what would you say 
Yeah, I'd be like, I'll come with you. Let's do it as a group. <laughs> that would be your advice. Like, <laughs> so maybe it's just some stranger, like you know, that you don't oh, know, right. that just wants to go on their own. You're like, I'll go with you. <laughs> That's, That's my, my advice. advice. <laughs> um, no, Jesus, my advice would be go to bed early. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Okay. Go to bed early. Go to bed early is the main thing because I think if we got enough sleep, this week would have been so different because yeah. I, I I sound really negative but there was some positive things to it okay. like I liked the feeling of it was 6 a.m and there was loads of people on the beach like that was kind of cool to be like oh my god it feels like nighttime or it feels so early but like we're in a country where there's people getting ready to surf, people meditating, people walking, loads yeah. of dogs shitting. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. all, all the peaceful things that come to yeah, mind. Yeah. But there was something cool about that that yeah. made me just feel like I was on holidays and like it's just so different from any experience I've ever had. Yeah, so yeah. that was really positive. And obviously big massive waves are fun life-threatening as well oh, but it's fun to be like splash around and then you get out and you're like oh my god i i did that like yeah, yeah. Like that side of it is really positive so i'd be like yeah do that but not at the expense of getting up early and not getting enough sleep because yeah. then you don't get the benefits which is the trap we fell into but it is hard to get from bed to the sea mentally mm. to be like I'm in the cozy bed and the alarm's going off at 5.50 and for some reason I have to be in the sea in 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. It's like, yeah. what? Like, that's really hard to convince yourself to do. Oh, 100%. I'm talking an awful lot, haven't I? A lot of shite, really. Like. A lot of shite, just kind of saying the same shite. Sorry, mm. pet. Would what? you... Uh, would you would you do it again? Or did you like it? Well. I did like it, yeah. I think of all the things that we've done... There's some things I just wouldn't do again, but I definitely do this again. Yeah. Now, obviously, not at the expense of sleep. Yeah. So I think if I was in a good routine, like we were talking about in the 5 a.m. one, that like, you know, you should be exercising within the first 20 minutes and mm. blah, blah, blah. I would love that to be my exercise. Nip down to the beach, jump into the sea for 10 minutes, you know, wake up. Yeah. That'd I be really, class. really enjoyed it. Mm. But it was just going down cranky and tired <laughs> oh, it's kind of shite like. it was, it's shite yeah and the two of us just dead at the beach be like right, I suppose we should get in then yeah and it was <laughs> like I mean we shouldn't we should have really been like we're the views around the place and people surfing and all of that sort of stuff to be able to go to a beach that's so close by mm. in the morning to go swimming is like something we should be so grateful for but when you're tired it was like i just don't give a fuck about that nah, like i'm just, just wrecked waiting for my nap after this yeah now. i can't wait for my nap is there anywhere else you would ha would rather do it hmm. like in the world obviously yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> not about anywhere else like here. any different dimension or <laughs> like <laughs> no like uh well, probably hawaii yeah i think that kind of pops to mind anywhere sunny like i mean I think I'd like to do it somewhere with colder water. Would you? I like, think so. In theory, now that I don't actually have to do it, I'll easily say that. Mm -hmm. but so what, like, how cold are we get, talking? Like? Uh, like Ireland cold, not like fucking okay, Norway yeah, cold. Yeah. But like, I think I'd like to do it in Ireland to just be like, what's the difference with the cold, really cold water? Yeah. Do you know? Does that kind of just wake you up and you're like you had fucking 20 coffees? <laughs> That's a bit intense. <laughs> sounds You'd like a die. lot, yeah. But um, was it what you thought? I'm not really sure what I thought it was going to be. I Well, maybe in my head I kind of thought it was going to be a bit like, you know, refreshing and we'd feel class for the day, etc. Like the first day was like that. For me, anyway, that I felt <laughs> great for the, for the rest of the day. <laughs> that feels very pointed. You're like, for me anyway. You were a cranky bitch. Well, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it because you were saying that you you prefer it going forward. Yeah. Like you prefer it got towards more, the end. I got a bit more used to it. Yeah. The yeah. first day I really liked that. I kind of went downhill from there at the expense of sleep. So. Yeah. Mm, would you want to keep it up? I would like to keep it up. So th this is, I was kind of expecting, like remember with the 5am club, we were like, it had a positive knock on effect. Mm -hmm. Same with gratitude, same with a few different things. It's like, it's something positive and it makes you do more positive things. Mm -hmm. I thought this would have that effect and I'd like to try it. I'd like to do it like once a week or something like that, where it's like, right, I know it's going to be an early night. I'll get up early, do the sunrise swim and kind of 
just be planned and ready to do other things straight away then like maybe not come home where the bed is yeah yeah like just be like bring your laptop or something to a cafe and just go kind of just keep on the buzz yeah, yeah. so i'd like to do it maybe once a week okay i think that would be nice like you know if you just did it on like saturday morning mm. so should you bother doing sunrise swims then yeah, with a group, I would say. Yeah. For okay. the for the community, if you have the community side of it available to you, mm. I would say, yes, that's the route you should go down. Yeah, I would, I'd say the exact same. Would you? Yeah, like, uh, obviously we went down with the two of us. I don't know. I can't imagine what it's like going down on your own. I don't, I really don't think I'd like that. Getting no. out of bed, having that mental ability to get out of bed early before the sun comes up and then go down and getting cold water and swim, like... On your own. On your own. Like that, shy, I strive like. to be that do you? mentally strong. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That you could actually do that because I'm just too soft. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mentally soft. Uh, yeah, like I... I, I so are you. Yeah, oh no, I definitely, 100%. <laughs> so yeah, i definitely go down with a group. And yeah. So yeah, I, that, that would be my advice as well. And get a nice this, little cup of tea. Get a few people together, go for a drink after not a drink drink but like a, a coffee or whatever after yeah go for a load of pints go for pints stay out until sunrise and yeah, then yeah. get in the sea and then get in the sea yeah <laughs> do, we do not advise that at all no not at all no. not at all but yeah look it was like it was something different for the week yeah yeah it was good like, like i was glad we did it yeah that's why we did this podcast it's something different for the week it's not always going to be like yeah you should bother doing that and we loved it yeah. there's always going to be a bit of like a few things that didn't suit us or whatever mm -hmm. and this was one of them for yeah. me a week of sea swimming so I don't think I'll ever be the kind of person that's that's absolutely leaping into the ocean every morning Yeah. but uh, once a week to get a nice cup of tea in a bun maybe after in a bun in a bun well Thank you for listening. And Thank you. Follow us at Should I Bother Pod on Instagram. And if you have two seconds, click that five star rating on Spotify. Boom. And if you want to give us any less, don't bother. You, should, you shouldn't bother. <laughs> you shouldn't bother. You should only bother giving us five you stars. You shouldn't bother rating us at all. Well, <laughs> we'll leave it there then. Well, put her there. Put her there. Put her there. Go on. Fair play to you. Yeah. Off you go, all you sea swimmers. But yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening. Bye -bye. Thanks, Gary. <laughs>